All right, you're now with the Forerunner Chronicles live on First Amendment Radio. And right now, if you're listening to us via internet, I want to invite you to click open a new window and type in that search box, youtube.com forward slash the Forerunner, T H E F O R E R U N N E R 777. Once again, that's youtube.com, the Forerunner forward slash the forerunner t-h-e-f-o-r-e-r-u-n-n-e-r-777 and you can view the videos that we have posted on youtube and not only that please do go ahead and share them with your friends your family members co-workers neighbors your enemies it makes no difference just make sure you get the truth out there while there's an opportunity to do so and I invite you as well to visit us at our MySpace page, myspace.com forward slash the forerunner, T H E F O R E R U N N E R 777. And we have some books available over there DVDs, more videos, more truth. Avail yourself of these uh, great articles. They're there. Make sure you have them where you're at so that you can become more knowledgeable and be able to relay this information to others in an intelligent fashion. And I invite you as well to follow us on Twitter. I'm trying to stay up with that Twitter channel, Twitter. And uh, over there, you just contact us by uh, typing in the search engine. I believe it is Forerunner, the number four, then runner like a track runner, R-U-N-N-E-R-777. And uh, we'll be able to get the current events that uh, we feel are pertinent as they come to our attention. And by the way, you can contact me as well at my Gmail account, the number four, then runner, R-U-N-N-E-R, 777 at gmail.com. you have any questions uh, or anything that's on your mind, any information you'd like to share with me, whatever it may be, contact me at my Gmail account, number four, then runner. 777. And now for the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, um, if you were here with us uh, last program, we were talking about the very, um, I don't even know the best word to describe it, but uh, the very prophetic happening of a uh, Pope Benedict the 16th issuing this encyclical letter in which he is calling for uh, the governments to establish a new economic financial global order or a new global world political authority as it says in the uh, Routers article and uh, we have a video posted dealing with that particular information on YouTube. Uh, YouTube was uh, <laughs> trying to block it from going forward, praise God, uh, it's, but it's moving right now. Uh, thanks to uh, many of you out there that have taken it upon yourself to download the video and repost it on your channels at YouTube or just send them over your emails, whatever different avenues you utilize to get it out there. I want to thank you for taking it upon your shoulders to make sure that others could have the opportunity to hear the truth. And uh, very serious things going on right now. You know, I don't want to uh, take up the whole first 30 minutes of this program before we go to commercial break with kind of recapping um, what I discussed in the very, very first show that I did here on FAR, but I think it's pertinent in relationship to this encyclical letter, encyclical letter rather, that uh, Pope Benedict XVI released uh, just uh, two days ago. It's the seventh, right? Two, today is the ninth. Two days ago. Anyhow, um, in the first program, I was discussing the fact that. Uh, many of us, many of you out there may not be aware of this, but the United States of America was established as actually set up as a corporation. And uh, there is a movement to um, overthrow this government. 
or in a light of the new terminology I presented, there's a movement to overthrow this corporation. And uh, hence, that means that there must be at least three uh, aspects of this government that must be routed by the enemy are completely, completely overthrown, overthrown rather, and reworked uh, for this to be a reality. Um, every corporation at least has three basic aspects to it. And I'm really just being, as I mentioned before, just kindergartenish about explaining it. But it's really to simplify it and make it comprehensible. Uh, every corporation has your hierarchical structure, you have your um, your economical structure connected to it, and then you have, you know, your code of ethics. Um, you know, the hierarchical structure of government would, you know, be your CEO, your president, vice president, so forth and so on. Then, you know, your, uh, your economic structure, well, of course, in the corporation, that would be your accounting department, you know assistant accountants, you know, head accountant, all of those things. And then there is always a code of ethics that the corporation drafts, which uh, all of the individuals within that corporation must abide by. And clearly we have all those aspects um, in the United States of America. Uh, what I was uh, delineating in the very first program is the reality that from the time uh, of 9-11, uh, we saw the breaking down or the overthrowing of this corporation that we know as the United States of America. Um, when the 9-11 tragedy occurred, we began to see the reworking of the hierarchical structure of the United States government. New powers were being placed upon the Oval Office, in particular, um, the president, uh, and uh, power and, and rights were being stripped from us, the citizens of this country. So there was a definite uh, radical shift in the whole hierarchical structure of our government at 9-11, specifically with the introduction of the Patriot Act. And then as we went on, Many people are not aware of the fact, but 9-11 actually had a very drastic effect upon our economy. Because at the time uh, of this 9-11 tragedy, countries throughout this world became a little sheepish about doing business with our government, with our country, uh, due to the um, instability that 9-11 uh, brought. Um, to our to our um, to our country anyhow so we so we see two things that happened here we saw a shift in the hierarchical structure at 9/11 clearly there was a drastic change and then we saw the movement to uh, rework the whole economic structure here in our country and 9/11 uh, started that domino effect um, taking it into our economy and then, you know, uh, the, the individuals that had the power to uh, continue uh, the radical shift or radical breakdown of our economy, not even shift, uh, breakdown so that they could set up a new, uh, a new structure in its place. Uh, then we saw the whole housing bubble, um, which was, which was, you know, a complete completely, completely orchestrated by Greenspan and Bush and all of these gentlemen. All of, the, all of these men, once again, we know clearly, they have been used by a higher authority outside of themselves. And I'm not talking about the Bilderbergers, and I'm not even talking about the Vatican at this time, which is the head of the food chain of this whole, you know, of this whole mess. But I'm talking about the devil and his fallen angels that are working in opposition to everything, to everything, to everything that can give humanity 
an ability or an opportunity rather to come to a knowledge of God's truth. And, and that's one thing that this country has been established to do by God is provide a vehicle to the world for the truth to be made manifest in all quarters of this globe. You know, the, the majority of all missionaries in this world come from right here, the United States of America. So it would behoove the devil and his minions to overthrow this country if they, would, if they desire to overthrow the gospel. And in overthrowing the gospel, it is making a direct attack, that, attack at Christ, Jesus, and the Father. Because we're told clearly in the book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse 16,